we got hardware, we got software, we got mechanical things going on, too much things for me to handle alone. So I gather some experts to help me out, and in the upcoming few days, we will build that farm bot. First thing we did is we connected the wheels on the plate of the gantry. There are nine wheels on every side. Uh, the bottom ones are with an excenter. That's this one. So these ones are with spacers. So the holes in the plate are different, so there's absolutely no way you can do it wrong. And also we're doing the wheels so on the other side of the gantry. So that's the horizontal part that will connect the head. So we just finished the basics of the gantry. So the three extrusion profiles, three motors, the plates and the wheels. Next step would be to put the belt and the Z-axis here on the right side and then the gantry will be finished. But this is the basics of the gantry. The next step is to put the rail on the grow box. So this rail is already done. What's important when mounting the rails is that everything is set up fully horizontal or else the gantry will move from left on, on the right. The second thing is to take care about is those little dents in the plates they need to be fully aligned with the wood of the grow box. That's how you install the rail. So the Z-axis is assembled. Using the manual, this was literally a 30 minute job. The difficult part is the wiring in here. So through the cable guide, there needs to be the wire for the head, two cables, one for the water supply and one extra. Then also these two cables need to be squeezed right through this cable guide. This is the camera and the other one is the power supply for the vacuum pump. So building the Z-axis is easy, just the wiring is a bit difficult. So working on the farm model all day really got me thirsty, but luckily we have a water pump. So it's a 24 volt solenoid valve, closed type, and it takes water directly from your tap and it brings it through all the system over here into the Z-axis into the head. So when you're using the right tool, you can get water, so maybe I can keep my mouth on it there for now. <laughs> so just like your gardening, the farm bot needs tools. There's a tool for seeding, there's a tool for weeding, there's a tool for moisture sensing, and there's a tool for watering. So those four tools, and on the other side of the tool bay, there are tools to put the seeds in. So that's where he will grab the seed with the seeder. So for example, the soil sensor right here, it connects with magnets to the head, like this, and it will measure the moisture level in the soil. Based on that moisture level, the watering will be adjusted to that. So that's how the tool bay works. This is the brain of the farm bot. So here's the farm Duino and a Raspberry Pi that takes care of everything that the farm bot does. It has here all the motor controllers and here's everything for the encoders. Power supply, also for the water pump, the vacuum pump and the lighting. Everything happens in here. The rest happens in the cloud. The only thing we still need to do is put on the farm OS. So that's the last thing before we're actually gonna make this farm bot work. Today, the last component of the farm bot is coming in. The soil, one cubic meter of soil. The source of all that grows. The soil where we're gonna plant our seeds and get our first crops from. It's going to be put in the grow boxes and we'll start growing, hopefully, at the end of the day. So after three days of building, the farm mod is already done. I personally thought it would take at least five days to build it, but with the right help of the community and the manuals, it was really done within a matter of days. It was way easier than I thought, especially because of the farm Duino. So the farm Duino is really a plug and play piece of hardware. So you cannot really do it wrong because the cables have the right stickers. The farm Duino has good mark markings on it, where to put those cables. So now I can say I'm the proud owner of a FarmBot 1.4. So this FarmBot can be controlled from all over the world. So now I can control my FarmBot with a laptop or with a smartphone. What I can do is I can change the planning of the farm and I can also track also the progress with the camera. So I hope this video was inspiring for you and gives you an understanding what FarmBot is, how you can build one, and hopefully you're also inspired now also to build your own FarmBot. So if you have any questions on how to build it, you can ask it in the comments below. And otherwise, I would hope to see you joining the FarmWorld community in the near future. Good luck. Yeah.